What's going down YouTube? It's a boy Sneaker Freaker. Today is Friday, August 27th, 2010. It is about 10.45 in the morning or 11. And I just got my package in the mail. Shout out to UPS for always delivering early. It is right here. Uh, secondly, shout out to my man Always Ready for coming through. Uh, first time opening this package right here. I don't know what to expect, but I know what to expect. Always ready, always comes true. Boy was very legit. Uh, we've done, I think, three or four trades, shit the same day, received the same day. Uh, no questions asked, we get business done, so that's what's up. Uh, so, what I'm expecting are 2005 infrared 90s. 2002 to where he hunts. What's up? Bubble wrap. First up, not the OG box, but it's an OG box. Alright. 2005. Infrared 90s, history of air. That's what's up. Now I can uh, get my 2010 pair again, keep that on ice, and rock these once I clean them, that is. So here it is, my grail, once again, achieved. Bubble still yeah. clear, that's what's up. Oh, man, from the looks of it, man, it's quality, uh, yeah, it's quality. You know, compared to like 2010s, I can say that, I really can say that, that, you know, now that I have these in my hands and I have the other ones, uh, the leather feels just a whole lot better. So there's a tag right there, and there's an insole right there. Very happy with these, man. You guys know, if we're at 90s, you can't go wrong with a pair, retro, OG, whatever. All right, man, up next. So far, so good. Be looking out. Not the, not the uh, OG box, but you know it's all good. Here it is. Look at that. Cool green eyes, man, from 2002. Shout out to Dells for doing a thorough review on these. Got mines. So real quick, a quick story with these. Um, my cousin had a pair, first time I saw these, my cousin had a pair of these up in New York. And he was getting married and he saw I was a sneakerhead. And to make a long story short, he offered to give, to give them to me. Um, they were size seven and a half. I couldn't fit them. So, when I got home, I hopped on eBay, lost a bid, hopped on Craigslist or whatever, and um, I saw a pair for $100 the best offer. Shout out to Abe. But they were like size 8. But they were like VNDS. Tried them on. You know, they fit for the most part, but uh, after a while, it started to hurt. Went to New York, traded them off for a pair of Midnight 6s, and those Midnight 6s were size 8, and they too were like a little too tight. So I traded them off to my man's uh, Always Ready again. So he has the Midnight Sixes. My man E Money up in New York has the Cougar Nines. And like I said, man, kicks do come and go. Perfect example of these. Here it is. So just a little quick review on these. You know what I mean? Um, you got your 23 section white. Got your white globe right there. The gray pull tab. Uh, pant and leather going from, uh, along the toe box towards like the whole upper to the ankle lining and so on and so forth got your great translucent sole with your Japanese writing white jump man white jump man white mental very happy with these um, just another gem to scratch off my list so to speak so always ready good looking out once again enjoy your package and youtubers as usual be sure to like rate comment and subscribe and again I'm keeping the heat coming so uh, stay tuned Alright, this is Sneaker Freaker signing off for now. Until the next episode, peace.